Hi everybody, I'm Matteo Ferrario. When it comes to delays and filters, we should consider that they share, they share the same exact working principle. Um, let's talk about delays for now. The delays circuit is composed uh, of two branches, each one run by our starting signal. The first one is reproduced identically to the one that entered while the second one passes through the real delay. Um, in this model then we have some recurring parameters um, underlying these working principles. The dry wet tells, um, tells us how much the starting sound is going to uh, weight of the finished one or delay, the delay branch. <coughs> dry is the unaffected sound while wet is the effect without its source. I simply have to decide how much dry and how much wet I want uh, to have in the final sound. The delay time controls how much time the wet waits before playing back the sound. Uh, it is indeed a sort of program de delay. Lastly, the feedback controls how much of the sound coming out from the wet comes back and is processed uh, again. If the, if the feedback is set to zero, uh, the wet is going to reproduce the original sound with a, a given delay. If the feedback has a volume, then uh, a portion of all of the sound coming out is um, going to be sent back and to be delayed again. We have something that sounds more or less like pim, 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 pim. There's always a small amount of delay around us, since the sound reflects on the walls. And now the delay working principle that is simple uh, is able to manufacture sound effects that can appear um, really different to our ears, such as the filter, as we previously re revealed. Let's say I have a starting sound, the white noise, with a delay time of zero. Um, now I set it to a zero 0.1 millisecond and we can hear a tonal difference, something like awakening in the higher frequencies. Now let's increase the delay time to 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5 milliseconds or 1 millisecond or 2 or 3 milliseconds etc. Here's what happens when we combine a sound with a delayed copy of itself. Just like when we sing in a microphone, our, our voice is captured by it, but it also record a, mm, a copy of the voice that has been reflected on the walls and enters it a little later. Now let's check another kind of sound, a, a snare hit. Um, here it is. Here's the delay. Okay, I try using a delay with a delay time of 0 millisecond, increasing a tiny bit at a time. Let's hear. As to now, we notice a filtering effect, as we can see from the spectrum analyzer. Let's increase it more. Okay, now it starts sounding weird and we, can, we can't hear a pitch effect anymore. Let's increase it more. Okay, okay, at this point it seems to sound like a flam. And okay, we, we clearly hear that we, the two sounds are different and distinct. As we saw, the working principle of the delay is the root of a great number of, fact, of facts we know with different names.